How you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Now, after this quote, you're all probably expecting a cheesy, cliche speech about loving yourself. Unfortunately, yes, this is a speech about loving yourself, but it's not the cheesy, cliche speech you're all expecting. I want you all to take a minute and think about a time you ever felt so hopeless and unappreciated. Two years ago, I started practicing the art of being myself, which is basically me starting to love myself and accepting myself for who I am and not how others want to view me. After those two years, it was almost like I'm painting a new painting. It felt like a new era for me, a new renaissance. I painted myself how I wanted to be viewed and not how others viewed me. I felt comfortable in my own skin. Let's start off by saying, what does being comfortable in your own skin mean? Being comfortable in your own skin is to feel relaxed and confident while presenting your, your manners. Two years ago, I was the insecure girl that was shy about her looks and personality. And I always tried to fix my looks more than my personality. Because what we don't realize nowadays is that we are completely judged based on our looks. People base their perceptions based on your looks. But no one ever really focused on the beauty that is within us, which I find is 100 times more important. Believe it or not, that's where the law of attraction came through. My mom was a firm believer of the law of attraction, which is basically a belief that by attracting a positive or a negative thought, it comes into your life. So you have to train your mind to attract a positive or a negative thought. And it basically self-reflects into your life. After those two years, I felt like a complete different person. I, I was recognized between my peers and my teachers. I was no longer this insecure, shy girl that always used to sit alone. After I was completely recognized, some people found it sad that I had to feel good on the inside before feeling good on the outside. But I believe that a social reform starts with an individual, and I did. I started with myself before starting with others. I made sure I feel good about myself instead of making other people make me feel good. And that's how I started loving myself and accepting myself. And a friendly reminder, if Winnie the Pooh could eat his favorite food and wear a crop top, then so can you. Now, after I started practicing the art of myself, one of my methods, after feeling so disgusted in my own skin, I went and I stood in front of the mirror and I started complimenting myself. I was feeding my own ego, which at first I found extremely arrogant and I was completely shy. But sooner or later, I started seeing results. And as my mom once told me, diamonds are built under pressure. So after those two years, after feeling like a complete different person, I saw everything through a bigger eye which is basically the normal pep talk that we are always told, which is basically just go be yourself, is probably one of the worst pep talks I've ever had. They make it seem like it's so easy just to be yourself. They don't know that I'm not trying to be someone else. I'm just simply trying to accept myself. I'm trying to love myself instead of allowing else to love me. They don't realize that the normal pep talk of just be yourself can actually be very negative because it tends to stress out the person. They tend to feel that they're supposed to expect a result overnight. Little do they know that the result does not come in a minute or in a second. And that's how I started feeling at first. When, whenever I used to go and talk to anyone about my problems, how insecure I felt, and etc. they would simply just tell me, just go be yourself, as if it's the easiest thing ever. Just be yourself, what's wrong with it? Once you start accepting yourself, that's when you start being yourself. And that's what many of us haven't realized yet. We're all so busy focusing on looks. We're, we all see the stereotypical stuff. 
No one ever really wants to focus on the beauty that is in, within us. Everyone is so caught up with the models and the bloggers and everyone, and no one ever really put in effort just to get to know someone fully. Two years ago, I wouldn't have been able to stand here right now and talk to each and every one of you and look you in the eye. But that's where the art of practicing myself came through. Thank you.